sound. Introduction Sound is important to communicate with one another. In our daily life, we hear different kinds of sounds, like the sound of animals, birds and sound of different human beings. All the sounds are different. Some easily recognizable sounds are the bark of a dog and the sound of the whistle of a train. Different persons have different types of sounds. What is sound? Sound is a form of energy that produces the sensation of hearing. Sound is produced when particles vibrate and move in a pattern called sound waves. Activity Take a plastic scale and place it on a table so that some part of it projects out from the edge of the table. Place a heavy book on the other end of the ruler. Press the projecting end down with your finger and release it. What do you observe? You find that the ruler vibrates and produces sound. Activity Take a tabla and you hear its sound. After beating the tabla, if you touch the membrane of the tabla, you will feel its vibrations. When the sound stops, touch the membrane again. You do not feel any vibrations now. Activity Take an empty big cooking utensil. Hit it with a spoon. You can hear the vibrating sound. If you touch the utensil with your hand, the vibrations stop. These activities show that sound is produced by the vibration of the medium. If the vibrations are stopped, no sound will be produced. Hence, we conclude that sound is a form of energy and this energy is carried away by particles vibrating about their mean position. In this way, sound travels in solids, liquids and gases. Sound requires a medium to propagate. Unlike light, sound is the form of energy for which the medium is necessary. Since a vibrating object passes the vibrations to the air molecules, it means that the sound travels in a medium. Let us perform an activity to see whether it can travel in a vacuum or not. Activity Take a jar fitted with a vacuum pump and sealed by a stopper. Put an electric bell inside. Allow electric current to flow to the bell in the jar with the help of a battery. You will hear the bell ringing. Now, take the air out by a suction pump and make vacuum inside. Keep the cover tightly on the jar. Now, switch on the electric bell. No sound will be heard. Hence, we can conclude that the air particles were acting as a medium and they were helping the movement of sound energy. When vacuum was created, the sound could not travel from inside the jar to outside. Hence, we can say that some kind of medium, solid, liquid or gas, is necessary for the propagation of sound. Propagation of sound When a body vibrates, it transfers its energy to the air molecules around it. On receiving this energy, the air molecules begin to vibrate in exactly the same way as the vibrating body. In this way, the air vibrations reach out to our ear and our eardrum begins to vibrate. The vibrations of the eardrum are analyzed by the brain and we hear the sound. The particles of liquid are more dense than air. Similarly, in solids, the particles are closely packed, hence the sound travels faster in solids. Sound propagates in all directions. In the morning, when school bell rings, it is heard by all the students, although they are not present in the same place. They are in different places. It means sound travels in all directions. Its loudness depends upon the distance from source to observer. The louder the sound, the greater is the distance covered by it. Scientist Ernst Masch was an Austrian scientist who showed that when an object crosses the speed of sound, then there is a loud sound called the sonic boom. Today, we know 
that when a supersonic jet crosses the speed of sound then loud sonic booms are produced today the speed of supersonic aircraft is given in terms of mash numbers to honor the scientist these numbers related the speed of the object to the speed of sound in music there is a scale of light related notes called octave the sounds produced by these notes are different as their frequencies are different sources of sound the different sources of sounds are given here tuning fork it is a u shaped metallic instrument having a stem between the two prongs the stem is taken in the hand and the prongs are hit on the rubber pad the prongs vibrate and produce frequency the frequencies are written on the stem it is used by doctors and in practical laboratories musical instruments there are various types of musical instruments which produce different sounds they can be classified into four types string instruments percussion instruments wind instruments and reed instruments they all produce sound but in different ways string instruments the string instruments have two parts one part is wire which when plucked vibrates and produces sound other part is the hollow box in which an air column also vibrates with the wire to enhance a sound examples violin guitar sitar veena so the sound in sitar veena or guitar is produced by the vibrations of stretched string percussion instruments in these instruments a membrane is stretched tightly over hollow wooden frame when the membrane is beaten it vibrates and produces a sound examples drum kit tabla dholak so the sound of a drum or tabla is produced by the vibrations of its skin membrane when struck wind instruments these instruments have pipe like structure having holes at a certain distance the air column inside the pipe is vibrated when it is blown from one end in this way the vibrations are produced and a sound is heard examples flute trumpet shehnai clarinet sound produced by a flute is produced by the vibration of air enclosed in the flute tube reed instruments harmonium and mouth organ are the examples of reed instruments they produce sound when air is blown in it activity sound produced by jal tarang waves in water take cups of equal size and put different amount of water in them the space above the cup is an air column of different lengths when you beat these cups with a stick the air column will vibrate and different kinds of sound will be heard an instrument called jal tarang is based on this principle reflection of sound like light sound also reflects sound has a tendency of reflection when it strikes on a rigid surface in an empty room the sound given by a source is heard directly and by reflection also to understand the reflection of sound let us perform the following activity activity to study the reflection of sound take a glass container with a wooden lid and put a clock inside it you can hear the sound of the clock now gradually open the lid of the container when the lid is at a certain angle around 45 degrees the sound heard by the observer is more this happens because the sound waves from the clock changes direction get reflected on striking the wooden lid at this angle and your ear being along the same line of reflection the sound can be heard more distinctly this is called the reflection of sound